everybody. It's Friday. It's Friday. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you excited, Bella? She's excited. She's excited. It's Friday. It's Friday. Don't mess up my makeup. Hey, my baby. Oh, don't get away. Okay, okay, you're down. Whoop, whoop, what, what? I don't, I can't dance. <laughs> Mine's Bella. Bella, I'm trying to film here. Don't worry, we'll wait while you just play. You done? I would like to do a... I would like to do a weekly video about the products that I'm liking, the products that I'm not liking. So instead of saying my weekly favorites and hates, and some people say hits and misses, I wanted to come up with something creative. So I'm going to have my weekly cha-chings and chunks. So things that I think are cha-ching, you know, worth your money and products that I think are not really worth having and you should just chunk them. Don't, don't throw your money at these products. I'm gonna start with my cha-chings and I'll let you know whenever I get to something I just kinda wanna chunk. Evian Facial Spray. Now this is super great and it says, awaken your skin and your senses with Evian Facial Spray. Use daily, it hydrates your skins, help fix your makeup, freshens and purifies. Originating from the heart of the Alps, Evian Natural Mineral Water benefits from a balanced mineral content, is pH neutral and is suitable for all skin types. Okay, well I like that you can put it over your makeup so you just, it just feels super duper refreshing. So if you live in California or back home in Tennessee, it gets really humid. So this is something good to have if you start getting really hot throughout the day or sticky. It's just a good refresher. So this is a definite cha-ching in my book. Foundation. My favorite go-to foundation is the Benefit Hello Flawless. And I like because it has broad spectrum SPF 25. So if you're somebody that already puts makeup on every single day, you definitely want to make sure that your moisturizer has an SPF in it. If not, even though your makeup will go on a lot smoother and evenly if you do hydrate your face with moisturizer, but you want to have something on your face that has some type of SPF. And I like that this is very natural looking. I have this on right now and it it's fairly medium coverage. You can make light or medium coverage. This is my go-to for my foundation from Benefit. From Gerard Cosmetics, and it is in the color Destiny. Now, one of my favorite girls on YouTube, her name is uh, What Would Lizzie Do? It's her channel. She did a collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics, and she came out with this lip color in Destiny. I'm currently wearing it, and it's just this really pretty, pinky mauvey rose color and could you see it did I did I did I do it good did I focus it so it's just a really pretty every day instead of like a nude it's more like a berry ish type of color she's also offering a promo code and with her promo code you get free shipping so I think I got this for like 11 or 12 dollars and that included shipping so yeah that's pretty good I'm like a lipstick junkie. This is from Dose of Colors in the shade Wild Child. This is what I was wearing in my Makeup Keep Swatch video. This beautiful pink here. It's just like a super Barbie pink, but I just really love bright colors. And there's this other color called Seductive from Dose of Colors. More of like a satin pink, but it's obviously a lot more wearable if you're not into the BAM! type of pinks so <laughs> yeah they're just all beautiful colors I think what do you think what do you think like it like it yeah yeah looking good another thing that is totally a cha-ching worthy this tiny little I don't know how to say it I'm gonna say it wrong Foreo Foreo both of them I like Foreo better that sounds more fun but I don't know how you say it whatever Anyway, this came in my last month's box 
for my lore box. So it has these little bristles, rubber bristles, and they're kind of um, thicker and more coarse and hard at the top there. But there's a little butt on the back. It came with these two. One is a day cleanser and one is a night cleanser. And you just put a little on your dry face and massage it into your skin with, oh, you wet this thing. You just go around your face. It just helps give a really good deep cleanse for your face. So I thought that was cool because the Allure Beauty Box is only 20 bucks. So this thing in itself is $40. And then for it to come with its own handy dandy tiny little facial cleansers, I thought it was a great deal. But can you see? Can you see my dark circles? So I have really bad dark circles, like really bad. It doesn't matter if I get five hours of sleep or 15 hours of sleep, I'm always gonna have dark circles. So color correcting is really big this season. And to help with my dark circles, because of my undertones, they recommended me to go with the yellow. So what I do is I just, it has a little wand. This is from Sephora and it was $13 as opposed to another brand, like another high-end brand that would be like 20 bucks or more. So it comes on a wand that looks like this and I just dip it in there a couple times and I go underneath my eye in a little triangle and I keep it on there. I take my foundation and my beauty blender. It's super dirty. This little squishy thing, it end in your foundation and it's fantastic. So I just take this and put it on my hand and I take a little bit of my beauty blender and just kind of pack my foundation on and blend it and the color corrector at the same time. And if it gets to the corner over here, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be flipping you off. <laughs> when it gets in the corner, instead of the beauty blender like jabbing me in the eyeball, I'll just take my finger and just kind of tap it in. So yeah, I really like this that it's only $13. It's very affordable. And then I take, hold on. And then I take my Marc Jacobs palette and 40 Mirage filter. This is kind of pricey, but I didn't own anything Marc Jacobs. And I really like how thin it is and sleek it is. It just, you can see all my handprints on it, my fingerprints. But once I do my color corrector, I then take this and this brush. This is from Coastal Scents, BRCS22. And then I just do this and tap it underneath my eye and help settle it so that it's a little bit of extra yellow a little bit more extra yellow to help cancel out the purple undertones underneath my dark circles then i also love this bronzer from too faced in the shade snow bunny you just swirl it all together and it creates this beautiful bronzy look if you can't see it but i have it i have it on my face today it just creates a very nice, non-muddy looking bronzer. My all-time favorite mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's in this lovely pink tube. I even like the wand. It's like an hourglass. It's really thick. But when I first got this mascara, I absolutely hated it. Because it's such a runny consistency that you really have to... Not runny. It's a really wet consistency. So if you are a super amateur at applying mascara, you're probably going to get it everywhere. But if you start learning, you know, how to handle it and, you know, don't lift it all up here, it's going to end up over here where your eyebrow is. I just learned to work with it and now it creates vavoom lashes, but I don't feel like I need false lashes when I use this. So yeah, better than sex this is my favorite. Another chiching, pretty much all Sigma brushes that I got, but I really love this tapered highlighter, which is an F35. So it looks like that. Here's the highlighter I'm using right now. And it's in Becca Champagne Pop. So I just dip it in there. I'll shake it to not get a whole lot. And then I'll just go right up here on the cheek. And it's just, it's so soft. pretty and it blends I like totally blocked everything it just blends the highlighter so effortlessly 
It's like, bam! Bam! In your face! But yeah. So I really like this brush for doing my highlight. But I love this. It's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Most of you probably use the Anastasia Brow Quiz. And you know what? It looks like this, doesn't it? This is exactly how it looks. And you know what? This pretty much is it. It's got the same spoolie at the end. It's the same length. It's got the same amount of product. And, well now I just squished it. I didn't mean to squish it. But it has the same formula, the same color. I have taupe and it's the same color taupe here as it is for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is $10 as opposed to the Anastasia that is $21. And most of the time, that's why it's not working. It's almost, <laughs> I was squishing it because I had the wrong top and the wrong end. And a lot of times Ulta will have a buy one get one 50% off of NYX products. So you can get two brow pencils for the price of one Anastasia. Plus Ulta always has that 350 off of $15. So you can get a really good deal. Okay, for my one combination of cha-ching and chunk is this L'Oreal Paris, the super slim liquid eyeliner. So I like how it is a very nice sharp tip it's very smooth it's very easy to apply especially everybody loves wing but it's so dang hard to get it all even so what I do is you just take a piece of tape put it on your hand a couple times and then you just decide where you want your line to go for me it was about right there this morning and then you can even out your tape sides then you just take your eyeliner and go along the tape Mine's coming up because I tore it off like six times while I was talking. But just do it like two or three times to where it's not super duper sticky and tacky. And then it's really easy to draw your line on. And then once you're done, you just slowly peel it off. So this, I love how easy it is to apply. But as you can see, you see how it's sort of flaking a tiny bit down there? So the line is very nice. And I applied this this morning at six o'clock and it's now like 5.30. So the liner itself is fantastic, but underneath it's kind of flaking. So I don't like that. So this, I would probably chunk. Don't eat it, Bella. I'd probably just get another drugstore to try. I don't really have another one that I would recommend that's a drugstore. I really do like the Kat Von D liquid liner that stays on pretty well, but that's also like 20 bucks, whereas that's $10. So that's a lot more affordable for a lot of people. But yeah, so those were my favorites. And you know what? I just put this on, but... Huh? Oh. Thank you so much for watching. If you would please do me a favor and like this video, it would greatly help me out. And if you help me help you by subscribing, then I could come out with a lot more videos. Videos, videos. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Always be your goofy self and don't care what other people think, okay? Am I right, Bella? Yeah, she's just hiding underneath my desk. That was a loud motorcycle. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you. Until next time.